Hello Malaysia, Hello World. Apa khabar? Apa khabar? Welcome to ECM Talk with a variety of exciting topics for discussion and deliberated together. Today's topic, Trifi, the hows and whys. One simple word spelled in such a way that keeps me biting my tongue whenever I try pronouncing it. Anyway, I'm Rajesh Shahrul, your host. There is no denying it, fast fashion has made it easy to accumulate clothes faster than we can wear. There have been a lot of discussions surrounding the evils of disposable clothing, but you can do your part to minimize the damage by ensuring that the 50 ringgit shirt you wore once gets a more fulfilling life. You can even make a few ringgit more doing so. Let us hear from the Trifi founders themselves. I have here with me Adam Amir Rashid Razak and Azrael Jamaluddin Harahab to tell us more. Hi Adam, hi Azrael, welcome to ECM Talk. Apa kabar? Bagus. I will start with my first question and I will begin with you, Adam. Yeah. Perhaps you can share with us the background of the business, what Trifi is all about and why Trifi. It's quite a mouthful actually with one, just one word. I can pronounce your name faster than pronounce Trifi. <laughs> Perhaps you can just tell us about Trifi. Yeah. So uh, Trifi is a fashion community driven marketplace that focuses on the idea of sustainability. Mm. Um, and the word Trifi was actually made on the idea that we wanted to come up with a word where we can instill specific kind of values for our business. Okay. Such as sustainability, trust and all about community. Okay. but. Does Trifi means anything? I tried looking up in the dictionary, I, I can't find it. What is Trifi? So we took the, we wanted it to associate with our business, which was like thrifting. Mm -hmm. Although we also wanted it to be simple and more catchy. Mm -hmm. So Trifi was the kind of name we ended up choosing. Mm -hmm. um, but we had a bunch of different names that we thought about. Okay. And we actually got a few, uh, like 160 people. Yep. We did a survey. 160 people mm -hmm. just to find a name? Just yep. to find a name. That yep. must be your doing, Azrael. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can tell us so, uh, a bit more about Trifi. Yeah. Okay, um, so Trifi, um, so I myself, uh, my background is in uh, the pre-love uh, clothing industry. So okay. my family own a pre-love uh, retail business. Okay. Um, so I've been you know, working with them since uh, I was in high school. Mm -hmm. And there is actually a lot of, um, you know, much um, you know, sambutan for this used clothing. Okay. Mm. Uh, which we. Uh, the you mean the response in in Malaysia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The response is actually mm. uh, very good, even up till now. Actually, it's um, increasing. Okay. So mm. we get um, last uh, last time it was a different age group okay. where it was mostly maybe uh, you know those people who are. 25 and above shopping mm. uh, thrifting mm. but now things are changing okay so a lot uh, we we get a lot more young um, mm. you know uh, customers okay uh, coming in to, mm. to to my stores mm. um, shopping even mm. you know like 15 year old uh, you know coming in and, and okay. buying okay because thrifting is affordable it's cheap mm. um, so you can get a you know a good brand mm. for for a very good deal, cheap price, mm. and mm. also at the same time, people are aware that uh, we need to you know save the environment, mm. and they are doing their part. You know mm. by mm. buying using you know used stuff, mm. and it doesn't matter if it's clothes or whatever mm. you know, furniture, again, mm. um, to help the environment. Just mm. you know, it's, mm. I mean it's a good deal. Mm. You get to buy cheap, you know, nice stuff. Mm. Also, at the same time, you get to you know save, save the environment. The environment. Mm. You talk, you're taking the script out of my close lines, and you, my closure, my line. <laughs> Anyways, mm -hmm. <laughs> Adam, uh, maybe you can tell a little bit more. What about the quality, Adam? You know, mm. when people look at um, used clothes, yep. people the first perception will be 
a good quality clothes or you know they, they use clothes yeah. you know mm. so so what we've noticed is that um, yeah there is kind of a thought when people look at like secondhand clothes is oh it's kind of maybe smelly you know, right. it might be torn things right but it's astonishing to see that um, the community behind this whole thrifting is they tend to focus on clothes that are yes worn mm. but still in a way kind of new maybe okay. used three to four or five times mm -hmm. um, but it is definitely not the the idea of it being completely bad but it tends to be i mean you have people who would literally buy something and say oh nuts i don't want it anymore right and right. just mm -hmm. give it away or put it in a thrift store i mm -hmm. see mm -hmm. i see okay okay mm -hmm. all right let me go to the second question sure. maybe i start with with you azrae okay. Trifi is an example of e-commerce business mm -hmm. and we can see how this current pandemic mm -hmm. have accelerated e-commerce growth mm -hmm. yeah okay so now do you think going digital into this business is more important than before um i think it is important at, uh, at some extent um mm. depending on the business mm. so um i mean because um actually um what i, I my my personal opinion on this pandemic is that i feel things are changing mm. so um example uh, you know my sejahtera mm. um so my sejahtera i mean uh, even the older generation they 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 try to you know get my sejahtera so they to try to learn how to download an app and how to use an app these days can right right so so uh, this pandemic kind of open up uh, more um i'd say uh, people the the old basically the older people they are more uh, i could say how um much a more adaptable adapt adapt mm. to the mm. new technology mm -hmm. e-commerce or whatever it is can mm. so mm. um I feel it's important and plus um you know you by by going digital mm. um I mean as a buyer mm. you get to see a lot more stuff mm. Mm. with you know you can also compare price easily yeah. so in a way I suppose the so called older generation doesn't want to be left out in uh, this yes. di digital uh, age yeah. isn't it because yeah. people are going online mm -hmm. doing business buying and selling mm -hmm. and what have you mm -hmm. so i suppose in a way they just they just don't want to be left out mm -hmm. of yeah. all this right mm -hmm. what have you to say uh, uh adam i have to say like it is i mean covid's really pushed a lot of people to adapt and be more creative in mm. what they have to do especially in today's like business kind of environment okay especially of the fact that you know people want to keep themselves safe so we have to foc um, we have to focus on the idea of contactless kind of services correct and mm. i think that's what a lot of people try to adapt to go into all right hence why e-commerce is a fantastic idea mm. you know especially at this time it's kind of mm. covid has really driven people to think out of the box mm. and go with this kind of idea mm. rather than the traditional mm. uh brick and mortar services that you oh, see right do you think um, in terms of percentage do you think that it has work to to for people who has gone into this business i have to say like as azrael said mm. specific some industries definitely do definitely right. like uh, fashion mm. um, electronics anything that you can really sell online right um, although then you have other industries like restaurants that are not doing so well or at least they try to go through like grab delivery food panda stuff like that correct but um i would say there's a lot it's a lot higher now mm. definitely mm. a lot of mm. uh, internet companies are going uh, mm. doing so well yeah. mm. Mm. because this business entities would always need to look for alternatives mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in order to to survive correct. Mm -hmm. so to mm -hmm. so to speak Mm -hmm. especially now isn't it yeah? yeah it's not about just throwing the towel or just giving up no. uh -huh. they need to yeah. look at alternatives mm -hmm. and like you said adam you, they need to think out of the box right. mm -hmm. right. and look how they can sustain the business mm -hmm. right? okay this is my third question not necessarily my last you know? mm -hmm. <laughs> what's your advice adam to for future entrepreneurs out there who share this similar interest as what you guys are doing Okay, one thing that I know and that's always been like the advice that I've always been provided is start it. 
like you have to start it like right. a lot of people even mm. with us we had ideas that we wanted to do mm. but we never went to the point of starting it and mm. that makes all the difference mm. i mean as much as you can make all the plans mm. and think like if this is going to go well mm. you really never know what the outcome is until you actually start until you really try it yeah yes uh, get your hands into it you got it yeah, yeah. okay mm. interesting and azrael would you uh, encourage uh, the young entrepreneurs those coming out of the university to go into business that you guys are doing uh yes of course mm -hmm. uh i mean there will be challenges mm -hmm. um but you have to go through it yeah no matter mm -hmm. what uh just make it happen mm -hmm. um learn from others you know seek mm -hmm. advice um you know there is a lot of people your close friends family whatever it is just get advice from them mm -hmm. uh you know even just If if you're lucky, just you know, give a call to uh, you know all these um, associations or you know organizations, organizations yeah. who support uh, startups. So just mm. give them a call, seek mm. advice, mm. and these people are very supportive. I mean, that's what we did. That's, mm. that's uh, the thing. Like, mm. we, there's just so much opportunity yeah, yeah. in today's day. Like right. like, mm. there is no excuse if you don't want to like yeah. to start it. You can. Precisely. We we mm. we in today's age we have mm. the most opportunity in any part of life currently. Right. For sure. But going into a business like this. Mm -hmm. uh, What do you think would be one word that you would want to tell everyone out there? Just maybe in one word or one sentence. One word, exciting. Good, a very exciting journey. That right. Whether or not you succeed, well, whether or not you fail mm. or even succeed, mm. you're going to learn from the process. All right. And that's going to be a stepping stone to build more other successes. Right. Okay. Mm. Interesting. Azrael. I share the same uh, excitement too. Oh, I guess. good. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. So it's it's you have you must go with the passion for it, isn't it? Yes. It's not about is... just going into it just because others are doing it, mm -hmm. but you just need to have the passion for it. Mm -hmm. yep. Then you can see it going through. Yes. Yep. Otherwise, sure. just because your next door neighbor is doing it and you want to do mm -hmm. it, I mean, no, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. You you have specific kind of values that mm -hmm. drive you to reach there. Yeah. I mean. I want to say we really never thought we'd get into this right. kind of business. Right. We thought of a different idea. I never thought I'd be into tech. Yeah. I studied psychology, so it's. I thought so. You would be something. Ah. <laughs> it's not related to what it is now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'd say like go with your strengths. Mm. Go with the skills that you enjoy. Yeah. And then develop on it. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Once again, thank you, Adam, Azrael. For coming and joining us mm. on this uh, ECM talk, mm. and we really hope to see you guys again, and all the best and good luck in Trifi. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Years ago, buying used and secondhand apparels was nothing to be proud of. If someone bought used clothing, most would assume they simply could not afford new clothes. In recent years, however, Buying secondhand has become a popular trend in fashion. Websites that allow users to purchase and sell used clothing have popped up all over the internet. And now we have Triffy in line in the marketplace for used clothing. The new farm popularity of the used clothing market has created an enormous opportunity for fashion shoppers to have a positive impact on themselves, the planet and society at large. Once again, Adam and Azrael, thank you for being on our ECM Talk program and we wish Trifi all the best and good luck in your trendy business venture. ECMians, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Edu Channel Malaysia. Sehingga kita berjumpa lagi in our next program, Take care and stay safe, everyone. Bye.